let's propagate some rosemary. This is a rosemary plant that I bought at the grocery store in the produce section last fall. Look how big it has gotten. So you can see there, I've already started one. I wanted to go ahead and propagate it so I could keep some in the kitchen because this guy is gonna be going outside soon. So I wanted to try it out just to make sure that I could before I brought you guys along. And we have pretty substantial root growth in just two weeks. So I felt pretty confident that I could share what I did. When picking a branch to go ahead and clip for this propagation project, I picked a pretty sturdy one. So I did this one and you can see we've already gotten new growth in two weeks. So I don't feel bad about having clipped that one. I think today I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Did you know that so much rosemary grew from just one little stem? I personally picked the darker brown stems because I feel like they're hardier and they are already propagating themselves. So I feel like they're more likely to grow roots. I could be wrong in that. You might be able to be just fine with these little guys, but I wanted a sure bet, so I went with this. I just clipped it off with my kitchen shears. Now we have to tidy it up. Make sure that you don't waste any. Go ahead and save it aside. You can use it for supper tonight, supper tomorrow, whatever you want. And if you're not gonna use it right away, you can put it right in the fridge. It'll kind of dry it out, which is kind of nice. You can chop it and freeze it. You can just leave it out on the counter. You can do all kinds of stuff, but make sure we're not just tossing it away. I will probably split it a little bit between all of those. So what I did on the other one is here on this, the like stem portion of this, I pulled these off. I didn't clip them, I pulled them. I wanted it to kind of go into healing mode in the water which is where all of the little roots actually started growing. So plucked all those off. I went fairly high with that process. Even like these smaller ones that have just started, I went ahead and got those as well. Once we started to getting to some pretty substantial ones, I did one or two of those and then left the top. And then any of these, where you just have little leaves budding, I pulled those as well. That was how I got my exposed stem to go ahead and plop into the water. I'm gonna leave the top this tall. I might clip this one because it's a little heavy. I don't want it to tip out of my water. So I might trim the tops just a smidge, but I'm gonna leave it overall. That's gonna be my new plant. So now we need to prep a bottle to use. I got this at my grocery store and I'm gonna go ahead and use this. It was on clearance, it was delicious, but when you're picking out bottles, or even just deciding which drink to grab at the store, look at these things. So this is not printed right on the glass. If it was, I wouldn't be able to get it off. If you're fine with that, that's fine. I prefer the look of the clean glass. So I wanted to make sure that I could get this label off, and I can. So now we're gonna get the label off. If you haven't seen my video on how I do this, I will link it below. We're going to go ahead and fill this with clean, filtered water, fresh water, whatever you've got, just not chlorinated. There you have it. I went ahead and marked it. I've really gotten into the habit with growing stuff this year of making sure that I know when everything was planted so that I know what's going on. So he's going to live in the window here with this guy. I have seen recommendations to go ahead and keep them in a dark place and... Again, that's why I wanted to test this before I shared it with you guys. It seems to be doing fine. Also, that thing right there, that's on the outside. Otherwise, I would have cleaned it off. <laughs> it looks like it's a leaf caught in a spider web. And then we're just going to go ahead and add this guy in. It's literally that easy. <laughs> so make sure you keep it full, keep it topped up. Um, I'll probably go ahead and actually just top both of them up a little bit. I like to keep it all the way to the top there so that we get roots all the way up 
instead of just right at the bottom. And the next time you see these guys will be in a video about planting our propagated rosemary. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any tips and tricks for me, I would love to hear them. Go ahead and subscribe to see that next video where we plant them, and we will see you guys next time.